The Vitruvian Man is a drawing made by the Italian polymath Leonardo da Vinci in about 1490. The man in this drawing is a famous Italian architect known as the Vitruvius. The drawing which is in ink on paper, depicts a man in two superimposed positions with his arms and legs apart and inscribed in a circle and square. According to Leonardo da Vinci's observations in the text of the picture, which is written symmetrically, the painting is described as a description of the proportions in the body of a man drawn in the form of the body of Vitruvius. Although the resemblance of this work to the descriptions of the ancient Roman architect Vitruvius, which is published in his third book, suggests that it is the same as that of the Roman architect, but da Vinci's version includes what da Vinci studied after years on the human body and a forgotten ritual. The palm is the size of four fingers. The size of the fingertips to the elbows is six times the size of the palms. A man is four elbows tall, it's mean 24 palms. The length of the open arms is equal to the height of a human. From the hairline to the bottom of the chin, it is equal to one-tenth the height of a human. From the top of the head to the below of the chin, it is equal to one-eighth the height of a human. The maximum width of a man's shoulder is a quarter of his height. From the middle of the chest to the top of the head, a quarter of a man's height. The distance between the elbows and the armpits is one-eighth the height of a human. The length of the hand from the end of the wrist to the fingertips is one-tenth the height of a human. From the chin to the nose is equal to one-third of the face. From the hairline to the eyebrows is equal to one-third the length of the face. The size of a human foot is one-seventh of his height. Apparently you saw everything in this work. But do you believe that this Renaissance genius who has always hidden a secret in his works, hasn't kept a secret for us in such an important work? Let's take a look. At first both hands open at a 90 degree angle to the sides. Now we draw two horizontal lines from the fingertips. Then we draw two vertical lines from the head and the soles of the feet. What is obtained is a square. So it can be concluded that the length of the open arms is equal to the height of a man. Then if a person opens both arms and legs enough a circle around him can be drawn. In this case the space between the legs is filled by a triangle. Now let's find the center of the circle and the square. Now let's draw two lines from the center of the circle and the square to the sides. In previous videos, we showed in full detail how the world is shaped by mathematical and geometric rules.
And we saw that everything, even the solar system has a point of 0.0, .0 where the source of life is. Now if you look at the circle you can see that the center point of this circle is his navel. But if you look at the square you can see that the center of the square is the penis. Thus the human body has two center points. Two center points that refer to two different dimensions. As you can see the circle has four points of contact with the horizontal sides of the square. Now if from the two points in the below draw a line to the highest point of the circle and draw a line from the two points in the above to the lowest point of the circle, two triangles are formed, one from top to bottom and the other from bottom to top. That means balancing the physical and the spiritual. As you can see the center point of these two triangles is the human navel. Have you ever thought about the navel? The navel is the beginning of human life which we see at the center of this circle. In fact human life begins in the umbilicus, then the heart grows, and then the brain. The navel is the root of the spiritual nourishing that you are unaware of. And as you can see Fibonacci can be drawn from the center of the navel. And it means that man is not separate from the system of creation. And square. Let's take a look at a code which name is the fall of man in Holy Bible, Genesis 3, 1 to 7. They were allowed to eat of all the trees except the tree in the middle of the garden. But they ate from that tree in the middle of the garden. Then the first thing that appeared on them was their penis and they covered it. And then they were exiled to earth. As you can see that there are six dots on the vertical line from the center of the circle called the chakra. Chakra is part of a vague belief in medieval psychology. It is believed that human life simultaneously exists in two parallel dimensions, physical body, and the other is psychological, emotional, mental, non-physical, which is called the delicate body. So the square is the matrix you get inside. And finally, what you see now is the tree of life. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button to receive more videos.